Hello everybody, Drifty here from Driftlet Gaming, and in this RPG Maker MV tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can use your VXA's tile sets in RPG Maker MV. This is a highly requested tutorial from many different people over the last uh, couple weeks. So uh, I'm gonna, there's many different ways that you can do this, but I'm going to show you the way that I do it. So um, I'll put a link in the description below where you can download GIMP uh, for free. But if you have Photoshop, this will be really easy to do. So um, you're going to go file open and uh, load one of the VXA's tile sets that you used in the past and you want to basically we're going to enlarge it so we have our zombie one here and uh, if you try to put this in MV you notice that the proportions are off completely because they're using uh, different uh, you're using different uh, tile sizes basically there's more pixel density in MV so we need to enlarge this picture this whole tile set to match uh, MV's what MV is looking for now you can use the plugin to, to downscale MV if you want to, but um, since we have the capability for more pixel density, we might as well use our capability instead of limiting ourselves. Let's go ahead and open up our um, our PNG. Uh, once we've found uh, where we've saved our VXA uh, tile set, we're going to open that up. We're going to uh, go to Image and go to Image Size. Now we're, we want to uh, check on these three boxes. We want to resample the image, constrain proportions, and scale uh, styles. We're also going to select um, bicubic smoother. Um, like I said, you can do this many different ways, but I found this looks the best when, once uh, once we've stretched out an image. So bicubic smoother. We want to make sure that um, we're we're constraining our proportions, so we should have this little lock icon. Now we're going to select percentile. So um, in the top here, where we have width and height at the top, we see we're set to 100%. So whatever size you have, it's going to be 100%. This makes it easy, and you don't have to even use a calculator. Basically what you want to do is up the size by 50%. So if you want to multiply this by 50%, you're going to go 150. And you'll notice that since we've locked and we've constrained the proportions, when we change the width, it's going to change all of it. So we're taking this picture, we're going to enlarge it by 50%, hit OK. So it's going to stretch it out, but you notice it doesn't look all super pixelated because we've redrawn basically, um, it's basically redrawing the whole image. Uh, really, really cool feature of Photoshop if you have Photoshop. GIMP may have a similar function as well. So once we've got our image resized and it's upscaled by 50%, we're going to basically hit File, Save As. Remember not to save it, because if you directly save it, it's going to overwrite your original VXA's tile set. And if you still use VXA's, you may want to keep that one. So we'll just make a copy. The, the file sizes aren't too large. So now what we're going to do is go to our MV folder. So find wherever your, your game folder is. If you're not sure, you can go into your game and hit uh, Game Open Folder. But since I've memorized the location on my computer, I'll just put it in there. We're going to go to the IMG and then Tile Sets. And we're going to save it right here. And what you should probably do is give it uh, an affix or a prefix, rather. We'll give it a prefix. We're going to go VXA underscore. So that way you can tell uh, which tile set you've actually brought from your VXA's to your um, uh, your MV folder. So this is VXA underscore zombie tile seat. We're going to save it in our tile sets folder for MV. It's going to ask you your options. Just go interlace in the slowest, smallest compression. Uh, that'll take only a few seconds. Now we'll go back into our project for MV. We'll save our game. We're going to go to the database and we're going to go to tile sets. Now, once we've uh, put it in the right folder and reopened the database, you'll be able to find it. So, which one was it again? We found uh, we saved tile C. So you'll open, you'll go to a new tile set. You'll have to assign all the, the circles and, and X's and O's and everything because um, this is a brand new tile set, and the game needs to. You have to basically define what you can walk through and what you can't. So I've already done one here, but what we'll do is a load of different ones. So this is VXA underscore zombie tile C. So if we hit OK now and we go over to C, you'll notice that all the circles and all the X's are perfectly where they need to be. And I've tried this with different uh, file, uh, with different enlargement sizes, and I found that 50% works perfect. So uh, I would just go with 50%. Now in order to edit these, if you want the player to be able to walk on top of them, you'll leave them a circle. If you want the player to be blocked by them, you're going to put an X. If you want the player to walk behind them, you're going to put a star. So circle, they're going to walk over. Star, they're going to walk behind. X, they're going to be blocked off as a collision. That's pretty much it. You'll go through and you'll edit all of your uh, 
particular locations or spots on your tile set. Right click will take you back one and left click will bring you forward one. So if you have to go, if you want to go behind them, you can right click and it'll automatically go to star or left click and it'll automatically go to the X. So that's pretty much it. Once you've done that, um, when you make a new map, we'll go ahead and create a new map real quick. How you would utilize these. Well, you right click somewhere on your uh, bottom left hand corner and go to new map. And now we're going to specify we want to use that new tile set. You might want to give it a name so that you know what the name of the tile set is. Um, if you haven't yet, you can uh, change maximum if you need to. And then give it a, a, na a name right here. Also, you want to specify if it's the overworld or the area type. For this one, it would be an area type. And then once we've done that, on side of our map, we can uh, select that tile set we just created. We'll hit OK, and you can add multiple layers to it. Um, so you can see that we don't have any A or, or A1, A2, A3, A4, any of those. All we've done is a tile C. But you can go through, pick the the particular A's and B's and C's and, and D's and E's that you want, and then it'll all be loaded right here. And you can just go through your tabs and and customize all of the X's and O's right here. So after you've done this for all of them. You can build your own custom tile set using all of the numerous VXA's free resources that are out there. And then you can uh, go here and start drawing your, your new stuff. Go to the draw layer. And here we are in MV using a VXA's resized tile set. And it looks pretty damn good because um, we've actually redrawed the image. It doesn't look very pixelated at all if you do it this way. So that's going to do it for this tutorial. Hopefully you guys liked it. Remember to like, favorite, share, and subscribe if you found this video helpful or informative. Uh, continue to ask your questions in the comments below. And you guys are super important to me. I read all my comments. And uh, I'd love to hear from you. If you have a special request, put it in the comments below, and I'll get to it when I can. So thank you guys for watching, and we will see you in the next tutorial.